Between 1316 and 1328, three kings of France died without sons, leaving Edward III of England, the nephew of the previous kings, as the next in line to the throne. The French nobility were unwilling to see Edward inherit the throne, so with the help of the Avignon papacy, crowned a cousin of the previous kings, Philip VI, as king. Edward reluctantly accepted Philip as king and paid homage to him. He had to do so because he held French territory, as the English kings have since the Norman invasion of 1066. Although the English once held a great deal of territory, by now they only held Gascony. Initially the agreement worked, but in the 1330s that changed. The English feared that the alliance between France and Scotland, the old alliance, threatened England when Philip offered King David of Scotland refuge, and the French were angered when Edward allowed Robert of Artois, a claimant to the French throne and declared mortal enemy of France, to stay in England. So to challenge Edward, Philip sent a fleet into the Channel and, in 1337, revoked Edward's ownership of Gascony. In response, in 1340, Edward claimed the French throne once again and formed alliances with the nobility in the Low Countries. With their help, the English navy emerged victorious at the Battle of Sloys and gained control over the English Channel. In 1341, the war spilled over into Brittany, where a claimant to the throne, John of Montfort, received English backing in the Breton Succession War against the French back Charles of Blois. Finally, by July 1346, Edward had raised a large army and invaded Normandy and devastated the French at the Battle of Cressy. However, the war was halted with the arrival of the Black Death. In the meantime, Philip died and was succeeded by King John II in 1350. Once the Black Death passed, hostilities resumed and the Black Prince, the son of Edward III, landed in Gascony and, in 1356, crushed the French at the Battle of Poitiers and captured King John. With John as prisoner, France was thrown into a state of lawlessness, but the English were unable to capitalise on this. So, after they failed to take Reims, they signed the Treaty of Brittany in 1360, expanding their holdings at France. King John's ransom was never met and he died in England, leaving the new king, Charles V, with a lot to deal with. In the 1360s, the English back to Montfort's won in Brittany, Charles II of Navarre tried unsuccessfully to claim the Burgundian throne, and civil war erupted in Castile. Although Charles V supported the claimant to the Castilian throne, Henry of Trastamara, the Black Prince was able to help Peter of Castile maintain power. However, this costly military excursion forced the Black Prince to raise taxes. This angered his lords in Gascony, who appealed to Charles for help. Charles called the Black Prince to Paris to settle the issue, but he refused. So, in 1369, English ownership of Gascony was revoked again and hostilities resumed. But the English were now in a weak position during this phase of the war. Henry of Trastamara seized the throne of Castile, peasants revolted and the Black Prince and Edward III died, leaving a child, Richard II, as king. The English were therefore driven out of all of their territory except Cal so, in 1389, they signed a truce. Internal strife in both nations stalled the war for over a decade. In England, Henry IV seized the throne, the Welsh rebelled and the Scottish invaded. In France, the new king, Charles VI, had mental problems and two factions fought for power. The Armanacs led by the king's brother and the Burgundians led by the king's cousin. Finally, by 1415, Henry V, the new king of England, had stabilised his kingdom and hoped to exploit this turmoil in France. He landed on the continent and crushed the French at the Battle of Agincourt. Half of the French nobility were killed in battle, giving the Burgundians the chance to take control in Paris. As English armies captured Normandy, in 1420, Charles was forced to marry his daughter off to Henry and agree that their children inherit the throne of France. However, Charles' son refused to accept this and continued to fight. In 1422, both Charles VI and Henry V died. Although the infant, Henry VI, took the throne of England, no one was crowned King of France. Meanwhile, the English continued to dominate in northern France until 1428 when they lay siege to Orleans. There, a peasant girl who claimed to have spoken with God, Joan of Arc, boosted French morale and helped them break through the siege, retake Reims and crown Charles as King. With the momentum of the war changed, the Burgundians signed a separate, favourable peace with the French in 1435, leaving the English isolated. Nevertheless, the English held out for another 15 years, but in 1450, they were pushed out of Normandy by a modernised French army. Then, in 1453, the Battle of Castellon forced them out of Gascony, ending the fighting, however the war formally ended in 1475. France was now united and would continue to expand. Meanwhile, the increasingly isolated English were left only with Calais on the continent, and the humiliating defeat helped start the War of the Roses.